Hi, this is Cecilia from Tarot by Cecilia, and today is Saturday, July the 4th, 2020. The tarot card for today is none other than the Queen of Swords, and this one is from artist Everett Hartso for 78 Tarot Carnival. Kind of looks like I'm doing a throwback month, doesn't it? This is the third deck from 78 Tarot. I don't believe it's available anymore. Okay, I think this one is sold out. And as you know, these are limited edition collaborative decks. So if you're interested in, you know, what they produce, you might want to follow them. Because their upcoming deck, which looks amazing, is called Ecological. Now, this card, when I said none other than, if you've been with me for a while, you know all about this Queen of Swords. Okay, she just has a way of showing up at new moons and full moons i don't know what it is okay i do these way in advance as a matter of fact due to the upcoming mars retrograde which will begin in september i will be choosing all of my 2021 cards in august and they will already be done with me having no concept of where they fall or how they land and if you saw what i did you'd know that it is totally totally random but she manages to do this and it's become an amazing thing all right and part of the reason is you know is that she can be a bit of a you know difficult all right i'm just looking for words that i'm allowed to say okay um you know somebody who can be a bit nasty at times you know perhaps her words are rather biting you know because there's truth to them and sometimes the truth hurts or maybe she just kind of oversteps her bounds with that bossiness and bullying mm. and of course her presence today tomorrow is none other than our full moon penumbral lunar eclipse happening at 13 degrees capricorn so we are almost there we have another two weeks of this eclipse season and another week of mercury retrograde you're almost there people okay hang in and don't be this queen of swords don't be that difficult person okay but also see i don't like that she gets the negative rap because there are things about her that are actually commendable and yes, I know the full moon can bring out some nasties, but let's talk about what she is about. She's incredibly intelligent, okay? Incredibly intelligent. And this is the kind of person who lets nothing stand in her way, all right? There is a reason that she has that sword. She is very capable of clearing her path in having absolute clarity to see the way ahead okay there is a sense of organization here prioritization that's here and while you may not be moving forward just yet there is that sense of preparedness of getting ready okay very strong motivating factors here and the energy right now at this eclipse and not just the eclipse itself is geared very much toward the area that Capricorn represents in your life. You have the moon, the eclipse in Capricorn. Jupiter is retrograde there. Saturn is retrograde there. And Pluto is retrograde there as well. So there's definitely something that is going on. And I just, as I look at her, and as I, you know, picture the the energies that are around, I'm just really feeling something that you can feel, all right? And it's not so much what you can see, it's that you can feel it. And yes, I know she leaves emotion out of the equation, but she has to be able to have that intellect to determine what's going on and to understand okay this energy is saying it's time and, and it definitely is all right there is so much more to come 
that at this point, that's why I say I think you're feeling it. You know that life is about to become something very, very different than what it has been. And that can be at so many levels. And with the moon in Capricorn today, you know, there is a, it's, I always want to say like a work ethic that's here, okay? But it's that being driven to get things done. So this is a good day to apply yourself to be that queen with that sword to just clear the way. You know, think of it as like a feng shui, all right? If you clear the way, what are you doing? You're making way for new things. And that's exactly what feng shui is about. It's like, you know, as you place things, remove things, declutter, you're making room to allow not new things to reclutter, but new energies, new people, new situations to enter your life. So as this eclipse season is nearing its closure, it's time. It's absolutely time. I want to thank you all very much for being here. I'll see you here again tomorrow. And as always, have a great day.